What's up, guys? Welcome to another Cooped Up with Josh and Ashley. I'm Josh. You guys know me. This is Ashley. And this, guys, who is this? Do you guys remember this bird of ours? Those of you who've watched for a while may be able to recognize her. She kind of looks different. She does look different. Uh, we'll wait for a few people to come on. And we'll see if anyone recognizes them. Let me put it onto live chat here so I can see everyone's comments. It's uh, bright outside, so I won't be able to see the comments without really looking at the screen here. But I'll try to read them. Hello, Anne, Shirley, uh, Linda. How are you guys doing? Angel, Naomi. Hello from Colorado. Um, who else is here? Martha, Diana, Nicole, uh, Jackie, Catherine, Tipping Bong, and, oh, this is way easier to see the screen now. Jan, Tammy, Kelly, Helen, Lulu Bell, Lauren, Be a Creative Sales, Brian, Stacy. Hello, everybody who's coming on. So, since I'm behind on vlogs, <clears throat> Can I sit here? Is there any poop here? Since I'm behind on vlogs, I've been doing these lives. And uh, since I know we're going to be behind on vlogs for a little bit, uh, real time versus when they're uploaded time, if that makes sense, uh, it's going to be old news by the time you watch any vlog about our new chickens. So I figured rather than people wonder why in... December whenever a vlog would come out because I'm so behind uh, Why there's no snow. I figured I would show our new chickens now. I don't know if I would have gotten to a vlog about it that late, but I'm behind two vlogs I started a third one I'm waiting for music waiting for music <laughs> and, it, and it's really just for me. I, I think my videos the same way I think of my uh, other art. I want it to be a certain way and I won't be happy unless I get it that certain way. And this video, I need this certain song played by these certain individuals and I'm just waiting for it to be recorded. But anyway, since we're waiting, I figured, you know what? Let's show the people our new chickens. Uh, your videos are art. Thank you, Kelly. So let's turn this back around. We got penny loafers right here. Does anybody, uh, I asked already at the top of this video, but I'll ask again. Does anyone recognize this chicken? Do you remember her at all? Or have you, do you remember, recall seeing her anywhere? I'm gonna try to get these comments. It's hard to see these comments. I'm gonna go further in the shade here. Oh yeah, now I can see them. He always picks the best music. Well, thank you, Linda. Um, let's uh, wait for these comments to catch up. Anyway, yesterday we went on a bit of a... I wouldn't call it an adventure. We'd call it more of a... We knew what we were doing and we knew what would happen more or less. But something did happen which we'll tell you as as I show you our new birds. So this bird here, oh, people are guessing, Peep, Blue, Lemon. Is that the one you got rid of because she was being a bully? Uh, some people say it's too blurry. Um, was she the bully? Hmm, I don't have my Wi-Fi on, so it shouldn't be too blurry. I'm sorry if it is blurry. But uh, Blue is over there on the right there in that old compost pile. This indeed is the bully. This is Peep. We brought her back. You can see that she's starting to molt and she's been mated quite a bit. She's missing some feathers on her back and you can see she's missing some feathers right on her butt there. Um, she has a shaving hanging. Just a little pixelated. Ah, oh, it's pixelated. That's too bad. Remember Lemon, guys. Someone's asking, is that Lemon? Uh, lemon was a rooster. A rooster. A rooster that was white, yeah, and he was a cochin, so he was quite small. And he's dead now, unfortunately. He got <laughs> snapped up by a hawk or an owl. 
Uh, have you checked out Epidemic Sound Online for music? Uh, I probably have, but uh, the music I'm specifically waiting for is not available on there because I need it by the people who I need it to be by. <laughs> uh, just the chicken is blurry because of the cage. Mm. Ah, okay, okay, okay. So yes, this is Peep. We were thinking about taking her back because uh, if you guys remember Julia, we gave her to Julia, but Julia can no longer uh, care for the birds for a while. So she asked if we would take her back and uh, she's such a bitch. So we are not keeping her. That's why she's in this little carrying cage. She, she doesn't live in there or anything. Um, but besides her, we have, yeah, Ashley just put her in there. We have two other chickens, and uh, I guess I'll, I'll just show you instead of explaining it. So we just separated her because she wasn't letting the other chicken she was housed with eat. And so, she was attacking her. Oh, and attacking her? she was her? trying to eat, yeah. Okay, so our regular run space is in here, and if you guys remember, I'll just show you real quick. We always have that door open, usually, most of the time, unless it's really cold out, then we close it. We got that door, door open all the time. This door is not open all the time uh, because this is a separate, uh, what you call a hospital coop. Um, um, yeah. I, I don't know how I can uh, show this very I'm clearly. I'm be really anxious when you go in there because she doesn't really know you yet. She doesn't know me, but I did catch her. Okay, guys. So we got this one here, which we'll get to. Well, actually, we'll do her first. So, did you name her already? Because you sent me that text. Yeah, I called her Bonnie, but I don't really know. Does this does this gal look like a Bonnie to you guys? I hope it's not pixelated. This is an Easter egg. I think an Easter egg, because she's got the earmuffs. Uh, but what do you think she is? I don't know. I, I think she is an Easter egg, but I don't know. Hmm. When our rooster died, one of our hens started crowing. Ah, ah that happened to uh, us as well. Well, we only had the roosters for a short time, and they were young, so they actually, they 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 were never really in charge. They were too small. But uh, uh, if you guys remember our chicken Henrietta, she was crowing for a while. Kat says she could be a pony. Ericana says Catherine thinks it's Ericana. Yeah, I think she's a mix, maybe. Ericana mix? I'm not sure. Yeah. I'm interested to see what color egg she lays. Yeah. So she's if, very sweet, and this is the one that Peep was beating up on. Yeah, you guys might remember Peep is an Easter egg or crossed with some unknown bird. And we got Peep and Minnie, if you guys remember Minnie, Minnie eggs, uh, because we wanted the colorful eggs. But both of them just laid cream, lightly pink-tinted eggs, which are kind of cool, but they're not green or blue. Really, we wanted blue eggs. Um, anyway. She looks a little rough, and see she's been getting pecked on. Yeah, so you can see she's got a bald spot. And, uh... She's not... She's, she's both made it a little bit, too. She's yeah, she's better, she's so. kind of bare on her she's back there. She's not as there. bad as people, though. No. So, where they were, they had a couple of roosters. Where we got them yesterday. I like the name Bonnie. Peep needs to go to the reformatory. Mm -hmm. Peep is actually probably going to become dinner for my brother. I don't know. I'm, we're going to give it to uh, give her to our my brother Dave. Uh, she could be a well, dolly. I think she won't, won't like. It would be helpful to have a rooster for her. She seems to do better when there's a flock with a rooster. Yeah. So she might do great at Dave's because he has roosters. Uh. Uh, anyway, how long does it take before they don't get picked on? Oh, well, she's getting picked on by her own flock mate. So, forever. She will always be picked on by Peep. So, uh, I'm going to turn this back around. So, you guys might know that we have a mixed flock. Okay, nice and vocal now. We have a mixed... <laughs> we have a mixed flock, uh, which... A lot of the time, at least for us, it, it takes time to get a mixed flock to get along together well. 
Um, and since our chickens that we only eat their eggs, we don't eat them because they're pets to us. Um, we basically just try out a chicken or two chickens usually at a time. And if they are good and they integrate well and they, and they don't bully the other chickens and stuff, then we keep them. If not, we give them away. Um, that was the case with Peep. Minnie died from a sudden chicken death. I don't know what it's called, but she died just randomly. Um, so that's why we don't have Minnie anymore. Um, but anyway, check this out. Uh, she's mocking Josh. Here is... See if I can get a good clear shot so it's not blurry. This is our other chicken. Did you name her yet? No. I have not. So we don't have a name for this, but if I hold this right like this, Peep should become should have become dinner a long time ago. She's mean. Yeah, she wasn't mean with the other chickens. Oh, look, look, guys. She's a mama. You see that little chick there? <laughs> oh, it's blurry. There, hopefully that's not blurry. Okay, they're getting a little nervous, so maybe we'll just leave them alone. They are not Polish chickens. Polish chickens, they'll have like poofy heads. Uh, these, these are either Easter Eggers, Ericanas. They're not Americanas. Took a dump. Is that her chick? Yeah, that is her chick. If it wasn't, she'd probably kill it. Look at the pretty colors on the chick, though. <laughs> anyway. I think we'll get out and leave them be. So we have them separated. They're not completely separated, of course, because if you look, you can see right into the to the main coop. Um, a lot of times what you want to do is make sure, like, you quarantine them just to make sure there's nothing wrong with them. But we already know there's nothing wrong with them, so it's okay having them this close to other birds. But we do have them separated just so that all of our birds won't gang up on them. They'll get used to them uh, over the next little while here, and then we'll just free range them together, and then we'll put them all in together. Since they're pets, we kind of want to make sure that they're all happy with each other before, you know, going on like you might if they were just meant for food or whatever the case is. Um, story about that chick though. Yesterday, we go to. Um, oh. That's just Penny. We go to the, uh, um, oh, my phone is probably going to overheat. Oh, you sit in the shade. Yeah. Okay. I got to, sorry, my phone is on the fritz. I use it so often that it seems to be conking out. Um, hopefully you guys can hear Ashley. I'll point the camera like this maybe. Um, so yesterday we went to go get them. Garden-grown chicken is delicious. Garden-grown? What does that mean? Like they eat? They just free-range eat? Um, anyway. So, uh, we go and get these chickens. We knew there was going to be three of them and a chick. But uh, we had to find them. We had a general idea of where they were, but no one was going to be on the property. So they just said, go find them. And... Uh, there's a box and you can put them in the box. So we're like, okay, perfect. So we're going around the little farm there and we find them and they're all together, the three of them and the, and the chick as well. 
And uh, we're assuming the chick is under the mother. But it was not, right? No. It was under... So if the roost is here, say, there's a chicken here, chicken here, and then a chicken on an other roost over here, which I think was Peep. And then there was the little chick on this chicken over here, not on the one that... Well, not on this one. So I pick up that chicken. Perfect. I put it into the box. And it's just a cardboard box. And then, <laughs> and then I get the chick and... Yeah, and I put it with who I thought was the mom. And it was so easy. I just picked her up, or him, whatever the chick is, and put him right in the box, and I thought it would be fine. But it immediately was not fine. Both the chicken, the hen, and the chick freak out, and they start flapping around, and they both fly out of the box, and now they're out in the open, uh, running around. It's easy to catch the, the, the hen because she's big. And, uh, um, there was like fencing, but the chick could go under the fence. It could go between the fence. It could go in all the little cracks, all the little nooks. And it was super fast. And it was so fast. It was like, you ever like see a mouse just ripping, just running? It was kind of like that, but maybe even faster. Just cruising like a road runner. Just boom, 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 trying to catch this bloody thing. It goes underneath the coop, and the coop uh, is sitting on the ground. And it's not like ours where it's on stilts. It's just sitting on the ground uh, on blocks, but but it's basically touching the ground. And so there's like a space like this to look under. And I'm kneeling uh, in the chicken run, which uh, Julia doesn't clean her coop like Ashley cleans cleans her coop. So it, it's it's not a bad thing. It's just she just doesn't do it as often as Ashley does. So it's disgusting because poop is poop. And I'm kneeling in it and I have to put my face like basically on the ground <laughs> to look underneath for this freaking chick that freaked out because I put it with the wrong uh, hen. Um, and the front of the coop is not attached. Like it's not in the run area. As, as the back is. So I have to walk all the way around. Go over there. Try to look underneath in the grass. In an even smaller crack. Trying to find it. Sticking sticks in there. Finally it runs out. Where it came. But uh, since there was only two of us. And it was such a. Not complex but. I think, I think it ran out when I realized. That that wasn't the mom. Right? Oh. Because then I brought the mom. Yes. Yes. Okay. So Ashley. Yeah, she figured, okay, this must not be the mom because why did it freak out like that? Why did they freak out at each other? Uh, that doesn't make sense. Uh, so she just picked the other chicken well, who was not... No, I heard the other two like right. freaking out in the tiny little, like the other little coop thing. Yeah, there was a little coop that they were in uh, that and we were... I noticed one of them was making the same sound that Nugget always makes when she's broody. Yeah, so she was making broody sounds. That's right, that's right. So then I figured that must be the sound they make when they have a chick, too. Right, yeah, okay, that makes sense, yeah. I forgot about that part. So she hears the the mama hen making the broody noises, which are like, they're kind of like cooing, huh? Hmm. Yeah, kind of like cooing sounds. And uh, so we get rid of the, the, the imposter mom. We <laughs> toss her in a... Uh, I think we put her into that little coop. Yeah. Grab the, you grab the other mom or the actual, the actual mom, mom, and and then that's when the chick came out, right? The chick came out of the out of the hole. Uh, I had to coax it with a stick still, cause it whatever. But once it knew its mom was there, then it went, and then uh, we still had to catch the bloody thing because <laughs> it was scared now, because first it's like, what the heck? This isn't my mom. Blah! just running around and then me running after it trying to catch the thing uh because depending on where it would have went there's cats and stuff uh on the property like if it was penny loafers there she would have tried to kill it for sure um i don't know what those cats demeanor is with chicks but 
maybe it wouldn't have been good. So I was like, okay, so we have to be quick about this, you know, so nothing happens. But at the same time, that's kind of like not the right way to do it, I guess. And this chick was just freaking out. But eventually we got it, put it in the, in the box, put the mama in the box. And then I realized there's no holes in the box for breathing. So then uh, uh, the, it was a cardboard box. We had to turn it upside down so that it, they couldn't just pop out because we didn't have no tape or nothing. I didn't know what kind of box she was talking about when she said she had a box for them. I thought she meant like a crate, like one of these types of things. Um, but she didn't have that. Well, she did have that because that is hers. But um, that is what we put Minnie or uh, Peep, sorry. Peep and uh, Bonnie, I guess her name is going to be. Uh <laughs> But that we found after. Anyways, the box, I was like, shit. Now we have to put air holes in this thing. It, it probably would have been fine, depending, because they're, you know, they got small lungs and stuff. There was probably enough oxygen in there. Oh, hey, look, it's Archie. What are you doing? Anyway, we... What are you barking at? You, we eventually got it uh, sorted. And then we drove them home oh, and... Oh, no, we had to catch those two. Because they got out, too. Oh, yeah, that's right. And then when we went to put them in the car, the car was full of kittens. Yeah. Eating your... <laughs> eating my onion rings. <laughs> yeah, okay. I forgot. Yeah, there's more to the story. Yeah, the <laughs> other chickens had gotten out of that little coop that we were going to hopefully just grab them out and put them into this. So we had to catch those things. So since there was so much commotion, we're strangers... They were running away too, yeah. When we finally got them, yeah, we put them in this little cage thing, which we just found on the side there. Uh, and uh, <laughs> we go, yeah, we go to put them in the car. And there's uh, there's like two or three cats in the car because I left the door open. And they ate my, my onion rings and part of my burger, which is kind of hilarious. Um, but yeah, we got some new chickens. And hopefully, you can see them. I'm hoping the quality is not so bad here. Uh, Penny Lover is your little sucky baby, Josh. A cat loves you. Yeah, she's pretty uh, uh, affectionate towards me. And you didn't record it? That's good content. You know, I didn't record it because I knew the vlog would come out in like over a month from now. And I... Or maybe even longer. And so I was just like, ah. But I wish I did. Although, it probably would have taken even longer if I was recording it. Coax it with a stick. What I mean by coax it with a stick is like, it was in a tunnel, if you will. And I put the stick under the coop and I moved it towards the chick so the chick would go out towards the opening. Uh, I need to rewatch the Rocky movies. Okay. Oh, because of the raw eggs? Oh, his training was to catch a chicken. Oh, okay. I don't remember that. Um, chick went for a rip. Yeah. So, uh, let me... Hold on a second. Oh, our hands have a bad habit of squishing each other's babies. Yeah, that does happen, huh? We haven't had a chick before being raised by a hen. We just had the... Well, we had Millie here. So, let me... Millie is a, a hoodan. And she was one of our chicks. And... She was not... For some reason, I'm. we had four chicks. Two were roosters. Oh, yeah, the other one was Opal. Where's Opal? Um, there's Blue and Ginger. Opal might be in the raspberry somewhere. She might be in the garden here. We're overgrown here, guys. 
Uh, oh, there we go. There's Opal right there. And she still has the crooked toes that we couldn't fix. There's Penny. Um, yeah, so those are the two chicks that we kept. The roosters we gave away. Lemon and... Uh, Rue, or what did we name the other rooster again? Rue? Ah, I can't remember what it was. As in Rue Paul, right? Rue Paul? Lola. Lola, right, Lola. Nobody changed it to her. The chick's living with the mom right there. If you, if you just put your phone and then come back out here. I don't know if you guys can see that. Yeah, it's too blurry. Oh, there we go. It's too hard to see. Have the chicken started playing the xylophone? Not at all. Let's see if I can... What's up, Millie? Let's see if I can show you. It's right here. Well, now we have this tree growing here, so... They're less likely to get to because of these branches, but... Uh... I don't know if that will entice them to come over here. Probably not, but uh, I don't know. Cage makes it hard for the cameras to focus. Yeah, kind of a bummer. But uh, as as he grows, or she, he or she grows up, uh, if we keep it, then you'll be able to see him or her. I don't know why I keep saying him. I'm just assuming it's going to be a rooster because that's exactly what you don't want. It was too aggressive. We have a small flock. We only have seven birds, uh, established birds, and then we got now the three. Peep, we're not keeping. Like, we thought, well, I was, it was mostly me hoping that we could keep her because just because she was here before. But she's too, uh, too mean. Right now, Blue's the head hen, and she's such a peaceful yeah. leader, as opposed to Henrietta, who is mean, that all of our chickens lay every day, yeah. except for Nugget, who's broody for whatever reason. Before with Henrietta, they weren't laying as well, and then Henrietta passed away, and now they've all been, like, laying and happy. Yeah. I'm taking a Sharpie and making a dot. Try taking a sharpie and making a dot on each one. They might think it is a bug and peck at it. I've already done it. They've they've faded away now, but yeah. I showed that in a vlog or maybe a live earlier, and we were trying to get them to peck on them, but they pecked on them like two or three times, but lost interest really quickly. So, yeah. Anyway, so we got... Oh, I wonder what these girls are going to think of them through the... There's a kennel there. You guys might recall that we had the kennel, not this one, a different one, actually a bigger one, up on here for a while. Uh, we took it out. I really wish I could just build a way bigger coop. Maybe not way bigger, but just better. Now that we've had chicken for chickens for a couple of years, and we kind of get better what you know, our needs are for storage and stuff. I wish that I could rebuild this thing. It's a nice coop, but it's it's not as functional as I wish it was. You guys might be able to hear the chick chirping. That's, that, that's not it. Oh, I know what I could do. I might freak them out, but I'm gonna. I don't know about that. The chick might run out. Just be careful that the chick doesn't run 
Okay, well, if it does run out, let's close this just in case. Also, these, oh, squatting for me? I'm a human. I'm a human. <laughs> okay, let's see here. Hopefully the chick doesn't fly out of here. Let me move this ladder. You guys might see an adventure. Okay. There we go. This is way easier. Would you and Ashley consider another chicken print? Maybe Millie? Like if I painted one, you mean? Ha, <laughs> maybe. Did you just get them today? We got them yesterday, last night. The chicken has a fluffy butt. Yeah, uh, these chickens, like the one on the left there, that's blue. She's a Orpington, and the one on the, the other one, the orange one, or the buff one, she's a Brahma, and they have fluffy butts. Yeah, I know. I don't know why this won't. All right, I'm gonna let him be. Maybe. No, it's not working. What's up, Blue? I would love your cube, don't know how well it would move. You could totally move it, no problem. We could just cut off the stilts, and then you could just you could just put it on your own blocks, and yeah, that would move easy. It's kind of tall, so there is that, but other than that, it would be really easy to move. It's very solid. We also had a black hand called Burnt Nugget. Eh, that's funny. Oh, that was a wasp. <laughs> I thought it was a fly on my elbow and it was a wasp that I just swatted away. Baby chick looks nervous. Yeah, he is. He's not used to me at all right now. But these chickens are you know, chickens that we have had for a while. They're not as nervous of me anymore. My shadow's in the way. See, now if that was Henrietta, she would have pecked her for no reason. Can you just remodel and expand it? Uh, yeah, probably, but I would rather just start over. Maybe this will, uh, I don't know, probably won't move it actually. That'll be a pain in the butt to move it from here just to another spot for with no application for it. I don't know. We'll just live with it. I like it too, but I'd like it better if it was better. Oh, Ashley pointed out to me yesterday, there's bird poop on the light. <laughs> Cut off the stilts, put it on blocks, find a free trailer in a field, and you're all set. Alex and Melissa could use a starter cube. I already asked them if they wanted it, and he said it. he didn't want to move it, so. My friends would love to have a chicken coop like yours, but then their taxes would go up too. Lucky for us, anything that's to house animals, you don't have to pay tax on. So like if the dog's 
Yeah, the dogs live in the house now. <laughs> this is the dog house. Uh, could I deliver it to Ontario? I actually could do that. That would actually be fun. One of my clients, actually my first client, they've passed away now, but uh, they uh, they bought a house in Winnipeg and brought it here, kind of close to us, just a couple miles away from us. Uh, they moved a house, and not even like a, a special house or anything, just a house they liked, and they were just like, yeah, we like this house, and let's move it to Alberta. Stony Plain area. Look at those birds in there. That always looks so cool. Spring here in Oz. Garden is going bonkers. If you move the coop, where's Matthew going to stay? <laughs> you could stay in the teepee trailer. I went to mail items at the post office today and the lady in front of me was picking up a package. The box she got was full of baby turkeys. Oh. Ooh. Okay, I think, I think that's about it, guys. So, say goodbye to Peep. She's going to go to my brother's house. Unless he decides he doesn't want her. And in which case, I don't know what we're going to do with her. Because I didn't actually ask him yet. But he's taken all our other chickens. Um, but we got Bonnie and... I don't know what to name. The, we got to think of a name. And the chick. It's hard to name the chick when you don't know kind of what it's going to look like. Mother hen. That's a thing, right? A mother, mother goose. Mother goose. But there's a, what's a mother hen? Is that a thing? Is that a thing that people talk about? Yeah, like you're such a mother hen. Yeah, what's Clyde? Bonnie and Clyde. Well, Clyde is a dude's name. Rose Peep. Peep noodle soup. Uh, mother hen is a thing, yes. It means bossy. Oh. Oh, okay. Get him to peep then. Yeah. <laughs> uh, maybe we'll just name her. What color is she? Gray, right? Not blue. Uh, I don't know. We'll have to think of a name, unless someone here has a name. Rosemary and thyme. I do like rosemary. Peanut and butter. Oh, there's another spider up there. Oh, yeah. Oh, popcorn spider. Orb weaver. How about Gladdy? Most of our chickens are named pun-wise, and I kind of like that theme. Of course, we're gonna run out of names pretty soon. Like rosemary, because you put like rosemary with your roast chicken, like the spice. Yeah. Right. I just called her Bonnie because it seemed to suit her. Bonnie. Rosie. Catherine. What? Or maybe Catherine said something. F-150. <laughs> Stella. Look at the little baby, it's so cute. Claudia. Gin and tonic. Well, they don't have to have names that go together with them, but... Like, a, like the, the chick could be named Brad, and like... You really think it's a boy? It does have quite a comb, but... I don't know. It's hard to see when you can't compare it to other ones. Yeah. Too bad you already have a nugget. That's a perfect name for the chick. <laughs> Hennifer Tinkerbell. By the way, where is Nugget? I picked her up and There's Opal. There she is. What's up, Nugget? Do you have any eggs under you? No, they wouldn't be yours anyway. Oh, here's an egg. Oh, really? This looks like a nugget egg, though. No, that's like plum. 
or Phoebe. Oh yeah. Who are the same size, so I guess that makes sense. Look at this little egg. Cream colored egg. Willow, Gracie. Um Chicklet. Jean. Perp and Peanut. Tinkerbell. Cricket. No wait, Chicklet. Sorry. Attila the hen. <laughs> that would have to be uh, a mean one. Okay, so in uh, a week or so, maybe we'll show it, maybe we won't, I don't know. It just depends on what we're up to. We will show... She really wants to get out of there right now. We will show how they are with each other, maybe. I don't know if it'll be that soon or what. We'll just see how their behavior is, like, through the little walls. I imagine they'll probably be fine. Some people just toss them in if they know that the chicken is healthy and they're not going to pass on, like, diseases or whatever to their established flock. They'll just toss them in and squabble, 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 and then they'll be good. But sometimes they just kill them. <laughs> the new chicken. Depends. I'm mostly worried about the chick, though. Oh, yeah, the chick. The chick's probably too young. Yeah. If the mom is... It's all new birds, she might not be able to defend her chick against all the other birds who might not care to have a little chick around. So I think I'll keep the chick and the mom separate for a while. Albert Eggstein. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Penelope. Lily. Elizabeth and Diana. Fiona. Binky and Bonkers, Quackers and Cheese, Pe Peony, what's the name of that hurricane storm? Oh, there's lots. Laverne and Shirley. Shirley. If, it, if it's named Brad, it would have to be Bradley Cooper. <laughs> That's so clever, Renee. <laughs> She's huge. She's not huge. So when they get broody, okay, let me show you. I have to show you this. It's so freaking funny. I hope she does it. They like pancake themselves. It's just like, you know, when you like set a water balloon down and it just goes, Broo. that's what they do. So she's, she's not huge. She just, oh, she's trying to bite me. I don't think so. She might, she might, uh, let's see. Okay, she's not doing it. If I would have picked her up with both hands, it probably would have been more comfortable. Okay, she's just going to walk around, which is good. It's getting close to molting time, and she still wants to be, uh, a mom, which is not the best because her, well, she's not going to be a mom anyway because we don't have any roosters, but it's not the best when your chickens uh, are broody once they've molted. That usually doesn't happen, I guess, but uh, sometimes if you got a chicken like Nugget, she just, so pretty with I don't know. White feathers. Yeah, with her pom-pom butt. Yeah. The homesteaders that grow, make, do, name their birds all spice names. Sesame, nutmeg, all spice, etc. Oh, then we'd have to name them Italiano <laughs> and Ring Spice. Uh, maybe call the chicken Parma, short for chicken Parmesan. I'd name her Parm, maybe. I like Egbert, that someone suggested. Name it Clyde, like Bonnie and Clyde, but like Bonnie and Clyde, that was like a, a boy and a girl who were not related. <laughs> Cinnamon. I've got two broodies at the moment, which is fine when we have a rooster, but annoying when we don't. Right? It is annoying. Serena. Princess Leia. <laughs> Leia. <laughs> uh, we could name her Leia, maybe. Yeah. Anyway, guys, that is that is where we're at.
Oh shoot, did I just die? My phone is going to die. I was like, what? My phone just turned black. Dude, you were not kidding about Italiano. Thank you for sending me some. You're welcome. I'm glad that you like it. All right, guys. Thank you for welcoming the new chickens to our flock. You will see more of them in the future. Thanks for watching. There will be a vlog coming out soon, hopefully. <laughs> okay, have a good day.